Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of A Maze of Death by Philip K. Dick. Dane reads. So this is uh, some pan science fiction. Pretty mad, to be honest. We're going to start with a blurb, uh, and then I'm going to check out my tabs, and then I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So the blurb. 14 people arrive on the strange planet of Del Marco, each hoping to make a new start in life. But there are more endings than beginnings when murder claims one victim after another. In each bizarre situation, mounting suspense is matched only by a growing surrealism. So the first thing I want to read out here is the author's foreword, which is very interesting. I actually posted this on Instagram. The theology in this novel is not an analogue of any known religion. It stems from an attempt made by William Cyril and myself to develop an abstract logical system of religious thought based on the arbitrary postulate that God exists. I should say too that the late Bishop James A. Pike, in discussion with me, brought forth a wealth of theological material for my inspection, none of which I was previously acquainted with. In the novel, Maggie Walsh's experiences after death are based on an LSD experience of my own, in exact detail. The approach in this novel is highly subjective. By that I mean that at any given time, reality is seen not directly, but indirectly, i.e. through the mind of one of the characters. This viewpoint mind differs from section to section, although most of the events are seen through Seth Morley's psyche. All material concerning Wotan and the death of the gods is based on Richard Wagner's version of Der Rings des Nibelungen, rather than on the original body of myths. Answers to questions put to the tench were derived from the I Ching, the Chinese Book of Changes. Tekel Parson is Aramaic for he is weighed and now they divide. Aramaic was the tongue that Christ spoke. There should be more like him. I mean he says that and then this this entire book is basically like a send up of religion, you know? So uh, somebody's somebody's listening to um, kind of like an audio book slash movie of the Lord of the Rings. Uh, he turned up the sound as well. Legolas is right. We may not shoot an old man so uh, unaware is an unchallenged. Whatever fear or doubt be on us, watch and wait. The bracing words of the old epic restored his perspective. He returned to his desk, reseated himself and got out the document which his supervisor had given him. Frowning, he studied the coded information, trying to decipher it. In numbers, punch holes and letters, it spelled out his new life, his world to come. I just like that little uh, nod to Tolkien, you know? And uh, Seth Morley here has a great line. This book is basically a succession of great lines interspersed with really weird stuff happening. And the cheese, Seth Morley said, is terrible here. Those goat-like suborganisms that smell like the form destroyer's last year's underwear. I want very much to have seen the last of them in it. The Quakip and the cheese both. He cut himself a second slice of the expensive imported Gruyere cheese. The Niemand, he said, you can't come with us. Our instructions are to make the flight by noser. And nosers are like a recurring thing throughout this. We get reference to some little white tablets of methamphetamine. Someone's taking a central nervous system depressor and stimulant at the same time as well, which I think is an interesting comment on medication, you know? And then Wade Fraser is talking about uh, the wording they should use to pray to the deity. <laughs> and I like this, I think more prayers should be like this. Somebody write this down, Wade Fraser said. We should start by saying, thank you for all the help you have given us in the past. We hesitate to bother you again, what with all you have to do all the time, but our situation is as follows. He paused, reflecting. What is our situation? He asked Belsnor. Do we just want the transmitter fix? So we get a, a great quote uh, here. I guess I'll read the exchange to give you the context. I think you're insane, he said. I'm just outspoken. I simply say, a man is a sperm's way of producing another sperm. That's merely practical. I sent that to Susie and she said, um, a man is just a dildo that needs feeding. I said I'd rather run on batteries. All right, I don't know what happened. Some footage went missing or something. I, it's crazy at the moment. I've got so, such a backlog of videos and footage. There's just ghosts in the footage now. Um, and yeah, I had a few problems. We, I think it's basically, I have to move stuff over from my main computer to my editing computer. And sometimes stuff gets lost in transmission. I think the flash drive got corrupted. So there was a bit more to this review, but you've, you've seen enough. So uh, A Maze of Death by Philip K. Dick. I gave it a pretty solid 3.5 out of 5, not quite a 4 out of 5, it was pretty good, um, but I mean I've been reading a lot of sci-fi recently as well, so it was up against some stiff competition, like you know Arthur C. Clarke and Asimov and stuff, uh, but Dick is a great writer as well, and if I've tempted you by this review, definitely go and check it out. So there we have it, that's what I made of A Maze of Death by Philip K. Dick, as always don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video, thanks a lot, Bye bye bye.